welcome everybody to KPE Paranormal. We are here at this abandoned house. Now, this is our second time coming here and we decided to stop by to explore it, you know, just a bit more. This is a really cool looking house. So we're gonna see what's been changed around here and to see if the energy is different from the last visit we've been here. So now this house is haunted. It is with good energy, no negative energy. Hope y'all will like this video. This dog's in a huge house to explore. Based first floor and the second floor we're gonna get started on this exploration make sure you all smash the like button share this video out, and let's get started y'all coming with See if there's anything in the cabinets. Nope. Close that back. There we go. All right, y'all. So this is abandoned house, and no, yeah, that's a big jumble bee, and it has a long stinger too. Long stinger. Woo! That was close. But I love that table right there. That table's beautiful. But wait till you all see the basement of this house. It is so cool. It has a cellar. Second floor. And of course the main floor here has a barn. This house is haunted. Good energy. Now, what's ominous before I show you all the second floor is it's one room. Right as a bed, microwave, and a hairbrush. It's like, what? <laughs> so, I cannot. I cannot wait to show you all that. This random chair is like just middle of the floor doesn't give it that creepy vibe, you know? Like a random chair in the middle of the floor. Now, if y'all hear anything, see anything, let us know down in the comment section below. There's like a cashier register thingy out there. Very cool. Old antique, you know. Okay, I'm gonna take you all along upstairs. We're going upstairs now, so we're all around up here. Almost fell backwards. Alrighty. So this used to be the bathroom. And you see there's like tons of wasp nests. It's by the river too, so you know what they say, like whenever it's by a river or train tracks, it gives that spirits the energy to communicate with the people, you know? Like whoever investigates the spirits to get communication, the water helps gives that spirits energy to communicate. But this room here, whew, this ominous. Now 
Let us know down in the comment section below of what you all think about this house so far. The floors are very sturdy. Just like these coat hangers. When you were walking up the stairs, Joey, did you say something? Yeah. Okay. That's how I did. I thought I heard your voice. That's why I wanted to make sure. But this chair just looking straight out the window. But the view, let me show you all the view. Check out that good bee. And <laughs> check out that bee too. <laughs> check out that view right there. Gorgeous view. You just sit down, relax, and just enjoy the view, you know. Kind of like a storage area. Very interesting. But yeah, one false step and there goes me or Joey, you know? So. Alright, so this room here has me questioning, you know, because it's a brand new, there's a brand new TV there. There's a desk. Okay, chair. Whole bed right there. No, wooden shelf. Wooden shelf to put stuff on. But it's like a computer desk, TV, whole bed. You know, it's like homeless might be staying here, so when we do come back, we gotta be extra cautious. Because they might just be. Either hiding underneath the bed, possibly. You really never know. Or possibly be on here, you know. But we do show them the most respect. But as you see, there are like cans of Star Kiss. I did not see this when I went live. Um, and other stuff. So. Definitely homeless has been here. So when we do come back for the investigation, we gotta be very careful. All right, so we're gonna, ooh, I have it in here, I don't think. Look at that wallpaper. Interesting, Hawaiian punch. Okay, so going back down here into the basement, show you all the basement. Because there is a cellar, right? There is a cellar in the basement. And this is where like, they store their alcohol, beverages, stuff like that, whiskey. So, and that is over here, down here. So with this, we gotta be really careful. Cause the second from the left step is very not safe. So right here, you can see it like almost creaking, like right there, you've heard that. So, oop, my head went on that. So I'll show you all around the basement. I probably got something on my head now. Check this place out, y'all. Alright, so, place I wanted to show you is this cellar, and I believe if I'm right, this is where they store the alcohol beverages, 
I've got any shelves here. Heat index out here is like 98. So, without being in the upstairs, it bumps it up to almost 100. But being down here, it kind of like draws it back down to the um, 96 heat index. So, this pretty much wraps up this exploration. I'm going to walk up here, do my intro and my outro if I don't fall. <laughs> Just to wrap up this exploration here, we were communicating with the female spirit. She says she's trapped here. This is during a live stream we did, and she says she's scared. So her energy is strong here, so when we do come back for the investigation, definitely going to get some activity from that spirit. We might get other spirits to come through, but the main contact we're possibly going to get is a female spirit. We heard knocking on response. We heard footsteps. We heard voices here. That's mainly it. But this house is good energy, no negative energy. Let me know what you all think about this video. Let me know what you all heard if you go watch the live stream. Make sure to smash the like button and also again let me know what you all heard in this video here. The regular recording, right? Because we also did a live stream. So be sure to watch the live stream to check out this voices. The on response, not the infinite spirit. So check that out as well on the live stream. But on this video here, let us know what you all heard. Share this video out, subscribe to the channel, like this video, let's get those likes up, let's get it. And until next time, KPE Paranormal, love and peace.